This is your channel, Preaching Jesus Ministry. Um, I give praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lord. Um, let me hit you with a verse here, and it says, it says in um, the Psalms. Oh, I'll say it in Spanish. No, I'll say it in English. It's Psalms chapter one. It says that for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly shall perish. I believe that's the last one. That's chapter 1 on Psalms. The Lord knows the way of the ungodly. Not the ungodly, for the no Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly shall perish. Yes, it confirm. I know it sounds one. I always have a hard time memorizing verses. I have to go back and reread chapter one. Praise Jesus. Anyway. It just shows that how God knows. <clears throat> and I want to read it again. That's the last verse. And it says here, I want to know, I want to read verse 5 too. It said, Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor stand in the congregation of the righteous, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And when you talk about perish, Jesus talked about that. I'm looking at that. <laughs> I'm looking at the room. Then I'm looking at the, the my back mirror. Um, the, the 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 Bible said that the ungodly shall perish. Now Jesus talked about that. Jesus Christ said, unless you be born again, you shall all likewise perish. Now, he says, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him should not perish. So it says here that the that the ungodly, the unrighteous people will not stand under judgment. They will perish. When we talk about perish, you know, perish like forgotten, destroyed, gone. But the Lord knows the way of the righteous. Everything that you do is recorded in the book of memory, the Bible calls it. Every idle words, everything that you have said or done is all recorded, written in the book of memories. <coughs> One of the things is that, that the church is following and is not following the righteous path. If not, they're imitating the world they're putting godly things into ungodly and changing it for their own comfort and not sincerely having a sincere repentance and a denying of themselves and hating the garments that fall by the flesh Bible saying Jude a cloud without rain twice dead, plucked up from the roots. But what I want to say is that instead of being an example to the flocks, we've seen that the church is becoming more secular, more worldly, more lustful desires with the materialistic things of this world. That even Solomon said that everything under the sun is spiritual vanity of vanity or is vanity and the all ages and gets old, it becomes history. But when we stay firm in the things of God, doing His will, His works. Now, I'm not talking about works of salvation because the Bible says that 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 He says that. Blues in Hebrews, He says um. 
by grace you're saved through faith, not that of ourselves, the gift of God, not of work, lest anyone should boast. So you don't base your salvation on doing works. No, but it is a faithful work that you have to do regarding the body of Christ um, that is different members and they have to work. And it talks about also that faith without works is dead. You told me faith without works, and I told you work with faith. So yes, we have to have <clears throat> you have to have a a faith, a works of faith in us, and see the transformation that comes from the heart and it comes out. Praise Jesus, because uh, the Bible says that who will. Que entre la, who, que entre la, entrará a su lugar santo y que, I don't know, I know it's Spanish, who will enter his, who will climb his holy mountain, who will enter his presence, the, the clean hands and a pure heart. That is, is it Psalms, I believe Psalms 25, I'm not mistaken. Uh, it says, um, que entre la, who will walk up his holy mountain? Who will enter his presence? Clear hands and a pure heart. So we have to have be clean from all unrighteous. We gotta submit ourselves more to Jesus and Ask God to clean us with His precious blood and make us wholly separated from this ungodly world. A world that hates God. A world that wants to go governed by their own by their own opinions of how they feels is right. And not according to scriptures, not according to the word of God. And so what happened is that they do not walk on the way of the Lord. They do not walk according to scriptures, according to godly ways. But their pride brings destruction. Bible said the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly will perish. Why? Because they're on a broad path, and this broad path they are and it's leading, to, leading them to destruction. It's hard to deny themselves. It's hard to take off the, 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 that big coat of pride that they have on them. If my people will humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, God will heal from heaven, forgive them of their iniquity, forgive their sin, and bring healing to the land. But the more they sin and the more they walk in the ungodly way, they're going to keep seeing more destruction. They're going to see the wrath of God is dripping day by day. And soon, He's going to release it on the earth. The Bible says that the, that the judgment begins in the house of the Lord. Now we have a movement going on. There's a movement in the church. They're becoming a laughing stock. Why? Because they're mocking the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came to convict the world, sin, righteousness, and judgment. But what happened is now they're making a mockery out of the Holy Spirit. They're making a mockery in the church. They're beginning to look more like the world instead of the world looking more like the church. Because they're refusing to preach the whole gospel. They have a, a, a itching ears. they bring in this false gospel because they're departing from their faith and giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons and heaping up their own teachers having itching ears. And they have a reprobate mind, a mind of sin. And they do, they do not want to change. And what happened is that they will cut, they will cry, they will do any emotional things to try to justify their sin and justify the way they look for the Lord. When God commands us uh, how we should look for Him and how we should be living, holy and righteous, be ye separated from this world, and do not judge what is unclean. Do not conform yourself to this world, but be ye transformed 
by the renewing of the mind. And so that we had to renew our mind day by day with the Holy Bible, with the scriptures, which is food for our souls, which is the form of God, which is life given. Praise Jesus. I was going, wow, I went deeper than what I expected. But that's what's happening. And like I read in Psalm chapter 1, the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly shall perish. Because the verse before that says that the ungodly will not stand in the judgment. Why? Because they're going to be cast out to all the darkness, to hell, to the lake of fire. The Bible says that the smoke of their torment is going to be ascended up for all of eternity. And it's false prophets. Let me eat this light. And so how long are you going to be holding on to the things of this world that's perishing? We aging, we're getting older, we're not getting younger. <clears throat> as, as we get older, our bodies start feeling effects. And God is showing you, listen, your body's expiring. Now there's people more healthier than others. As you can see, I need to, you know, I'm gonna start, I have to start losing weight, start working out right. Because God will destroy you. But no matter how much, there's got to come a time where your bones is going to be shaken with no more strength in your knees. Praise God. It's going to come to that point where you don't have no more desires in this world. When thus we care for thus shall we return. <laughs> Sorry. He knows the way of the righteous, or he knows the way of the righteous. That means we have to walk holy and righteous and live according to God. As long as the Lord knows me, that's what is important. It's not about men knowing you. Look as the Lord knows me, that's what is important. Because he knows the way of the righteous. <laughs>